Hi, how are you? Another live on Thursday. It's always on Thursday at 12 o'clock UK time. And we'll be again working with the energy, the energy management for the times of change. I hope you're doing well. Well, someone's joined already. Hello. And waving. <laughs> I hope you're okay. The weather for... Oh, update from London. It's grey and it's not very pleasant. I'm working a lot on the Earth Star Chakra at the moment because I'm running a workshop on the 7th of August with Ursula Barbieri and I must say it's a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings really grounding in the body and really situations coming up that connect me to my body and to here and now. So whenever we're working on a new webinar, on a new thing, it, it really shows up in our lives. So this has been really, really grounding and not always pleasant, <laughs> but it is what it is. And today I would like to talk about hope. And it's mainly about losing hope. Uh, because for me, I can always speak from my own experience <laughs> and what's happening for me, but uh, losing hope has really come up this week. Since the beginning, really since Sunday, Monday, there were different situations when uh, there is no hope. And yes, if you want to join the webinar, there's information, I will be posting information, it's in the bio and it will be in the information. There's Eventbrite, you can get the tickets there. Great, it will be great to see you there. So hope, hope, losing hope. And it was a really, really strange experience because obviously doing the work that I do, spiritual things, new age, whatever you call it. There's always love and light and there's always lessons and we all supposed to be happy and cheerful, whatever happens, but <laughs> it's not the case. This is what's called the spiritual bypassing. We can't see only love and light. We have to see both sides of life. So what I did, I just went into the feeling, I went into the emotion and stayed with it. And that's what we have to do. We have to acknowledge what's going on and then we can transmute it. It's not about transformation. I think it's about transmuting. It's like uh, transmuting metal into gold. So if we're in this feeling of having no hope, I would suggest we stay with it. Stay with the sadness, stay with the grief, stay with despondency, stay with helplessness. And it's only then when we really embody it and connect to this feeling that we can transmute it, transmute whatever it is into gold, into light, love. So. And this is how we work, this is how healers work, how people in life alignment work or whatever modality you use or whatever modality therapist you work with. This is about being in the moment, being what's going on, not judging and really processing it. So it's really helped me. I was really surprised that <laughs> from this feeling of having no hope, it took me yeah, it took me probably about 24 hours a day, but I could step out of it and move into something else. Also, a few situations came up that I really had no control over. So instead of sweating and, and worrying about the results, what can happen, I just let it go. So I must say I was very proud of myself <laughs> and I hope I will be able to help you with this as well. So I've got, I think I have seven sets of cards here because I'm thinking about doing a meditation about having no hope, feeling really helpless. So let's see what can help us. And the first one is actually the 72 names of God. There are little cards, they're from Kabbalah. And 
let's see which name of God is calling us today. What's going to help us with this feeling of helplessness and having no hope. And it is building bridges. Okay, with the power of this name, I extend the hand of friendship to people with whom I am in conflict, even if the conflict is about money. I awaken compassion and summon the courage to pick up the phone and call the person like right now. And that means right now. Accordingly, a bridge to the upper world will be erected on my behalf. Maybe don't call them right now, stay <laughs> for 10 more minutes on the live, but it's about building bridges. And the card is like this, it will be sort of the other way around. But there, this is the, the, the name, building bridges. And it's number 30, 30. I think <laughs> it's not printed very well. 30 or 30, yeah, 30. So if we're feeling hopeless and helpless, if we feel there is no hope, maybe actually reaching to someone, someone we, we feel we can't reach to them, but maybe if there's no hope, we have nothing to lose. So thank you, yeah, resonated deeply, great message. So I don't know if it's about forgiveness, it's more about connection. You know, it's building bridges. Forgiveness comes later, I think. Forgiveness is a process. So again, it's not all love and light and we forgive everybody. It may take time to forgive and we may forgive. We will remember, not forget, but forgiveness is a process. So this is one message to help us with this feeling no hope. And what else? We I have oh okay, I have this blush love cards as well. I've shown them before, they are really stunning cards. So let's see what the message will be for our meditation as well. You matter. So if if there is no hope, maybe it's a good message to remind ourselves that we still matter. We are here for a reason. We are here to experience everything. We have signed this contract <laughs> to come here to experience everything. And even, even the feeling of having no hope. So you matter. You matter for maybe for your soul group, for the monad, for the universe. Each one of us matters. And I think it's a beautiful, beautiful message to help us get out of this feeling of no hope and this feeling of helplessness. Great. Okay. Anything else? No. And I will, what I will do today, I will guide you through the questions from Life Alignment. So it will be a guided meditation with the questions we use in Life Alignment, but also I've got a feeling there are qualities of being that will come help us. So let me just douse what it is. <laughs> Lightheartedness. This feeling of having no hope is very heavy and it's, at least for me, it was heavy but also empty. It's almost like there is no feeling because there's nothing left. There's no hope. So if we have lightheartedness, we can take it more easy, maybe. So maintain this feeling of lightheartedness. You matter. Reach out to people with whom maybe you haven't talked to for, for months, years, however long it is. Building bridges. And another thing that came to me is that we should work today with the love body. We have in energetically pain body, fear body, but we also have the love body. And for me, the love body encompasses everything. What's love for us? How we love, how we allow others to love us, what blocks we have, what we want to manifest, our DNA, how, what we carry from the ancestral line. So everything in our field that's connected to love. So 
I feel it would be a good thing, <laughs> a good body point, we, we call it body point, to work with when there is no hope. Because I think there's always love. It can be fulfilled, not fulfilled, whatever it is, but there's always love and the love will help us with this feeling of helplessness and feeling of no hope. So in life alignment, the love body is four fingers just across your breasts. This is how we input it into the body. So if you want to do it, you can do it this way, tap the head, touch the head. And I want you to close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. And connect with this feeling of no hope. There is no hope. I don't know what to do. I've tried everything. And also looking at the world, there is no hope. We, we've gone too far. There are still so many people who are not conscious and now we project, obviously. It's not true, but we have judgment. So looking at, at my life, at the world, there is just no hope. I've done my best and nothing is changing. Really feel this helplessness. There is no hope. It's so empty. I don't know what to do. And feel it in your body. Where is it? Is it feeling your whole body in a specific part? And is there another feeling or emotion underneath? There's no hope. Maybe sadness, anger, grief. Just feel what's hiding, what's lurking behind this feeling of no hope. And welcome it, don't, don't judge. Just welcome this feeling. Be okay with it. It is what it is. And what do you want to do about it? About this feeling, feeling in your body, about this emotion? What do you want to do about it? You may want to get rid of it, or you may want to give it love, or something else. There is no wrong answer. What do you want to do about it? And in order to Take this action, do whatever you want to do. You need to self-empower yourself. Step into your power. To know that you matter, that you are important. And it's not from the ego point of view but it's from your soul point of view, from the universal point of view, you matter. And you are very, very powerful. So where in your body is your power?
connect with your power and allow the energy, the feeling to spread in your whole body. This internal power. And now allow it to spill out of your body. It's energy. It can go everywhere. So feel, feel the power. I matter. I am powerful. And how do you choose to feel now? Feeling powerful and how do you want to choose facing this feeling of helplessness, of no hope? How do you choose to feel? And say, I choose to feel maybe empowered, maybe loving, maybe something else. I choose to feel. and make a powerful choice coming from your power. I choose to feel. And feel this choice. And if you can imagine a safe place somewhere where you feel safe, peaceful, empowered, and it's safe, be powerful. It's safe to be you. It can be a real place or it can be an imaginary place. A place where it's safe to love. place where it's safe to give love and receive love. A place where it's safe to connect with people who you've had issues with before. It's safe. and connect with this feeling of safety. When you're safe, you don't feel helpless, you don't feel that there is no hope. I feel safe and I feel hope. And I can build bridges with people that are important in my life. It may be difficult, but I come to them from the heart place, not from my ego place. and take a deep breath into your heart and feel this light-heartedness. My heart is light. My heart doesn't carry this burden of no hope anymore. My heart is open. It's free and it's safe. So 
So take a few deep breaths now. Feel the weight of your body on the chair, your feet on the ground, you here and now, hopefully more light-hearted, hopefully feeling that you matter and hopefully okay with reaching out to people who made your heart heavy and reaching out to them from a completely different place now with love mm, welcome into the new hopeful world light-hearted I will see you next Thursday at 12 and also hopefully on the 7th of August uh, for the Earth Chakra, star, star <laughs> Earth Star Chakra and then on the 8th which is Saturday at 9 o'clock UK time for the monthly healing. So let's be in touch, thank you all who came here, I'm really grateful and people are reaching out to me and we're talking you know, on private messages as well. So if you have anything that you would like to talk about, anything that I could work on during the live, let me know and thank you very much, lots of hearts <laughs> and lots of thank yous. Wishing you an amazing day or amazing night wherever you are and see you soon. Lots of love. Bye.